Here we are today with news and views with the mayor. I'm Harvey Persons, Mayor City of Douglasville. We're glad to have you joining us today for our interview with Mr. Skip Johnson. Skip Johnson is one of the partners at Gold's Gym, also, also is an author, going to tell us a little bit about his book and how you can get ready for some of the New Year's resolutions that you'll be making and what he can do to help you understand how to have a belt better, healthier lifestyle. So stay tuned as we talk with Mr. Johnson, and he gives us some very helpful tips and ideas on living healthier. So who's going to do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect. That's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. We couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov kids for tips and information. Hello, I'm Harvey Persons with News and Views with the Mayor. We're here today and we're very fortunate to have with us Mr. Skip Johnson. Skip has been a part of our community now, Skip, for what, almost 30 years? Came here in 1984, yeah. 84, I, that's Pretty 30, good. If, if the math's right, that's <laughs> very th good math. Th 30 years. But uh, Skip came to us with Gold's Gym, and today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Skip and his progression over the last 30 years in our community, and then we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things that Skip is doing to help our community as well as a lot of other communities across the world. And you may be wondering what Skip going to talk about or what are we going to do and uh, how does Gold's Gym play into this. But what it, we're going to talk about it this morning, I guess we're here at the first of the year. We're talking about so many people look at goals and uh, resolutions and how to improve their lifestyle. And that's what we want to talk a little bit about this morning. And we're going to get Skip to talk to us and help us with some of the things that he's doing to help us and you uh, have a better lifestyle Great. and a healthier lifestyle. Because a healthy lifestyle is important to individuals, employees, and it helps our community. So does that kind of set the stage a little bit, Skip, for... Well, what we're going to talk about I, this morning. I think that's perfect and this is the new year coming up so it's a great time for it because the new year really is about starting over again to a lot of us in different ways and it's about kind of taking control back in our lives so I look forward to kind of sharing some of that with you as we talk. And Skip and I go back a long way. We go back I guess to really the 30 years yeah. when you first came into the community. Right. When Gold's Gym, well, really then, I think it was Douglasville Health and Athletic Club, right? Right, absolutely. And My as Gold's Gym. Yep, that's exactly right. And they have been a very important part in our community in helping to change and develop new lifestyles with individuals and within our community. And that's something that is very important, the lifestyle that you live, and certainly it makes for better employees within our city, within your business, and within our community. So tell us a little bit about what you've been doing over the last 30 years, Skip, to bring you to this <laughs> point. But can years. you condense it into 30 a few seconds. minutes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, you can have a minute. <laughs> well, the gyms have been a lot of fun. And as you said, we, we started in the community in 1984, which you and I deduced was exactly 30 years ago. Right. And my dad started the, the business. And it's just, it's been really fun to see thousands and thousands of people's lives changed. And we became a Gold's Gym took on the name of Gold's Gym back in 1996, right okay. around the Olympics time. And it's continued, we now have two locations in Douglas County, one in West Cobb, and they've continued to grow and make a difference in the community. And that's our goal, is to make a fitter community. And we work very hard at doing that. And I'm also doing, uh, as you've kind of pointed out, a book, I've written a book that's on Amazon now, and it's called Grateful for Everything. The subtitle is Learning, Living, and Loving, The Great Game of Life. And that's been great fun too. The interesting thing, Skip, and we don't normally, or I don't normally plug books, if you will, but I'm going to make an exception today with you because uh, I went to Amazon to look, kind of find out a little bit about your book, get some information on it, and uh, found it very interesting. There were 
51 reviews, uh, and they were very, very good, but uh, I found it a little disappointing in that two of them only gave you a four star. <laughs> the other 49 gave you a five star rating on the book. Thank you. So I think that's commendable when certainly people from you know, wherever, I, you know, I didn't see your name on any of these reviews. <laughs> no. But to have a, a book out there like that and to be 51 independent reviews and f fi uh, 49 of them uh, were five star and they were very commendable of the book. I'm going to have to get it and read it. So tell us a little bit about the book and what uh, prompted you to write the book. Well, and by the way, speaking of that, every time a review comes in, I don't take that for granted. I just get very, very excited when I see someone who's connected with a book and it's made a difference in their life. I started years ago, Harvey, just getting kind of excited about seeing what our lives could be like. You know, we get so, I think most of us tend to get sucked into the difficulties in life and, and having to deal with different things and put out fires constantly. It almost kind of sucks the life out of us. And I've always been very interested in how our lives can be better. And uh, I'm a great student of people like Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, who's a, the power of positive thinking, and a lot of authors like that. And so I put this book together to help us kind of see that life can really be different. We don't have to get pulled in so many different directions and feel like we're fighting fires every single day. Because what I look at in this book is a way to make us feel like life can be more of a great game and an adventure. And so that's the, the premise of it. And that's something you and I have talked about quite a few times over the last 30 years. As I said, Skip and I do go back over, thir well, right at 30 yeah. years when Skip first came to the community. And we've talked about this philosophy of uh, attitude and how you look at life and really how you approach it and what you do with it. And I think that so many times, Skip, people don't really realize that it's up to them to determine their attitude and from that determines a lot of the outcomes that they get from life. Is that what you're saying in your book? I, I, I'm with you 100%. Yeah, and what happens, I think the, the interaction you and I had early on was pretty representative of this whole concept. It's the, the enthusiasm and the uh, happiness, if you will, that's kind of created when you're around other people who have that mentality. We all like to be around folks who are positive and who feel good about life and who are making the most of where they are in their lives. And it's just contagious. So it's the, the book is interesting. It starts off uh, with this concept of the pilgrim going up the old mountain looking for the secret to life. Okay. And trying to find that proverbial secret. He meets the wise man at the top of the mountain. And the end, it, end all be all the thing is that the wise man says to him, if you can learn to see life and be grateful constantly, you'll have developed a whole new way of looking at your life, where it's one of a great game and fun as opposed to struggling every single day. And I think that's what gratitude does for us. There's been, over the years, a good bit written about gratitude, but it's interesting. I had a lady from California that sent me an article early this morning, and it was talking about the statistics on gratitude, how it literally physiologically affects us. It, if you have a gratitude mindset, it tends to drop your levels of the stress hormone cortisol about 27% by being grateful in your life. So there's actually a physiological response to the psychological outlook. All sorts of dimensions to it. Physiological, psychological. I think people that are, are grateful are probably even healthier. I can't attest to that immediately from a scientific standpoint, but they seem to be much healthier people when you're happy about life and you right. look at what's working in life. And to our viewers out there and, and wondering how all this ties together, one of the things that I say is I want to help make, not make, but I want to help make, Douglasville and Douglas County be one of the premier places in America to live, work, and play. And people say, well, how do you do that? It encompasses a lot of things, but to me, this is one of the things <clears throat> that does that. When I was campaigning, uh, I ran into a lady one day, and she asked me what I wanted to do, and I said, well, I want to help make Douglasville be mm. one of the premier places mm. in America mm. to live, work, play, and raise a family. And she looked at me, and she said, Harvey, That'll never happen in Douglasville. Mm. And you know what I told her? <clears throat> I said, you know what? You're right. You're exactly right. It'll never happen with that attitude. Mm. 
because it's an attitude and it's a mindset. We have so much to offer here in our community, in Douglasville, in Douglas County, and it's a mindset, and it's looking at the things that you have to be thankful for, mm. the things that you have to be grateful for. Mm. And, you know, our staff have heard me launch into that time after time after time again. But what you're saying, I think, just echoes that. Mm. And then that attitude and that gratefulness permeates around the community and the society that you operate in. And if we can get enough people thinking that and what you're talking about with your book, and our community does realize we have one of the best places in America to live, work, play, and raise a family. And that was one of the reasons we wanted Skip to come on this morning to help us get that idea across and to help us promote that as we approach the new year and resolutions and what we're going to do about it. Well, I love what you're saying, Mr. Mayor, because I remember when you were running for office, I remember reading about you, what you just said right there, how you wanted to make it a better place here. You wanted to make a place, Douglasville a place to, to grow and raise your family. And I thought, that's the kind of mentality we need in this community. Because if you choose to believe that way, it can come to pass. But if you don't believe it can happen, well, it's never going to happen. Right. So, yeah. And one of the things I said and continue to say I'm not going to make it anything. I want to help make it. Right. Because it takes all of us working together to assimilate all that we need to help develop that attitude and promote it. And it does create healthier lifestyles within our community and within our companies and organizations. And I think fundamentally, as you're referring to here, it's a choice. And a lot of times we don't realize that the ability to choose and see life gratefully and look for what's right and what can go on in our lives in a good way is a choice. We feel like we're, we're bound by someone else's decisions or how they think or how we should feel or how we've been conditioned to feel, but it's a choice. And I think you, you touch on that quite often in the way you talk. Well, and, and I do, and, I, and uh, you haven't seen it, but on my credenza in my office, I have a little frame and it talks about attitude mm. and it's a quote from Swindle and it talks about your attitude is the one thing that you have a choice to make about every day that you get up and that attitude that you have is going to affect so many other things in your life. Uh, I jokingly tell people every, well it's not a joke but when I get up and these little puppies hit the floor every day and it all works, sometimes some of it's a little sore than yeah. others but it all works. I'm very thankful for what I've been given, and then I'm going to make the best of each and every minute of that day. Uh, and I'm not going to let somebody mess it up. Well, you know, it's, it's, that's so true. When you talk about Swindle, that reminds me of a, a quote that I also saw in one of his books where he said that he has on his desk, what's your motive, Charles? In other words, he's asking himself every day, how can I be more genuine, and how can I be more... Uh, uh, trying to make people's lives better in a genuine way. And so I think when we have this mentality that we're going to be grateful, there's so much of a connotation of genuineness about that. It's not about, hey, I'm going to just think positively. It's I'm genuinely going to believe that I can make a difference in this world and in my community. I'm going to do everything I can to make that happen. And that's why we wanted you to come on the show, because I think, Skip, that you not only do you exhibit that, but you've exhibited that for the last 30 years. And to me, I say the best indicator of future performance is past performance. Uh -huh. If I see a history and a track record, and especially over time, that's a good indicator that, first of all, it's working. Secondly, what's going to continue uh, to that. produce. And that's the thing with in, uh, to talk about goals, Jim. So many times I've been going to gyms over the years. Uh, People sometimes call me a gym rat, but uh, <laughs> I think that's a good thing. But uh, going to different gyms all over the, the country, really all over the world, and you see gyms that open, they stay open for a little bit of time, but for whatever reason, either they don't have a good business model or they're not giving the right thing or they're not meeting the needs, they don't make it. Mm. But here we have Gold's Gym, a 30-year history with the same people that started the gym and continue to impact life after life after life within our community. And I, I just think that's com commendable. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah, in fact, my, my dad, when he started the business, he came from a business background. Mm -hmm. And as he started into the health club business, 
at that time, 30 years ago, people thought that fitness was gonna be a fad and you know, it would go away pretty quickly. And they would come into the gym expecting to be a bunch of bodybuilders in there. And he decided, no, we're gonna make this like a business. We're gonna make it where it's something that's gonna have longevity and sustainability. We're gonna do it right. In fact, that's his motto. It's the whole Lou Holtz motto of do the right thing. And he lives by that. And I think that's helped guide the, the company over these years. It's interesting that you say that and that if you ask my kids, that's how I raise my kids. And I used to tell them, we're going to do the right thing. Uh, and sometimes that's not popular. No, it's not. And a lot of times it's not easy. Right. But it's more important that you do the right thing and that you do it for the right reasons. Uh, and if you do that at the end of the day, uh, you're going to do what's best. And then it's going to help your community. It's going to help the people that you're around. And hopefully that's why we're doing it. Well, tell me a little bit more about some of your speaking and uh, the books, and uh, I think we've touched on why you're doing it, but tell me a little bit about what's going on with it. Well, I've been doing a good bit of speaking, and the audiences kind of vary up to small groups to larger groups and conventions, but one of the things that I'm really excited about is I have a Facebook page. It's Skip Johnson Author, and we're up to, within the first year, about 2,500 folks on the page from all over the world, from Canada, Australia, and Africa, and every Saturday morning, we have an inspirational video. We have a daily quote, a motivational quote, every single day on the page, 365 days a year. But we do a video every Saturday morning about something inspirational. And when we started the videos at the beginning of this year, people were like, well, that's really neat. Those will last a couple of weeks. Then you'll run out of things to say and talk about. And I was like, well, you know, we might. But it's, this week is our 45th week of doing videos, and there's no end in sight. And people have said it really makes a difference in their lives, and they look forward to it. And now we have several thousand views a week on it. So I feel like we're doing something that's connecting with people and making a difference in their lives. You mean you're still finding good things and positive things to say and <laughs> different after 45 weeks? <laughs> isn't Gosh, that interesting how that works? That's, that's strange, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but it's been really fun. So that's, that's seeming to go well, and we're having a good time with that. Okay. Well, as we get ready to close, like I said, I wanted to have Skip here with us today. As we approach the new year, we talk about resolutions. We talk about how can you improve your life? How can you have a better lifestyle? Uh, it's through changing habits, yeah. uh, coming up with positive habits. And what that'll do is help give you better health and better health, better habits, better outlook on life certainly helps improve companies, employees working for the companies, organizations, and Skip, you and Gold's Gym, uh, your family, I think, are making a very, very valuable contribution to our community. Thank you. And for that, we thank you. And like I said, this is not just something that's a fly-by-night thing. It's truly a lifestyle. Uh, it's something that you have endorsed. Not only do you endorse, but you've embraced it. Going back to your days at West Georgia, we haven't mentioned, but also Skip is a tennis professional mm -hmm. and has many uh, accolades and uh, recognitions for his achievements. So would you credit some of those to, or maybe all of those to that positive outlook and attitude that you have? Well, I think it helps with anything you're doing, whether you're an athlete, a business person, a parent, whatever it is, I think attitude makes a huge difference. And I, I want to go back just for a second to what you're talking about, about starting the, the new year and our community. This is a great time right now to make a difference and start changing your life. This New Year's resolution thing, it's one of the greatest opportunities we have to take back control of our lives. I hear people say that, well, you know, that I don't want to start a New Year's resolution because I might stop it or I might quit. Well, that goes back to what you were saying earlier when we were talking about, about having a choice in what we do. So this is a great chance for us to take back some control in our lives, whether it's physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and start making a difference again. Okay. Well, Skip, it's certainly been good to see you again Thank and you renew so old acquaintances and talk about the ways that we working together can help make Douglasville be one of the premier places in America to live work, play, and raise a family. Skip, thank you. Much success to you, Gold's Gym, and your new book. Thank you, thank Mr. You. Mayor. Thank you so much. That concludes our time with uh, Mr. Johnson today. We're certainly glad to have him here on News and Views. And join us again for more exciting things that are going on in Douglasville with News and Views.